What's up guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X. Many of you received your Nexus 6 today. If you're like me and you ordered from Motorola, you received it a couple days ago. If you ordered it from the Google Play Store, you probably received it today. So for you, this is a very exciting day. And to make things more exciting, Team Win Recovery Project just released their recovery for the Nexus 6. That means that we can install recovery and we can also root this device. So real quickly, I'm going to show you guys how to root the Nexus 6 because you all know that that is the very first thing that I like to do to my cell phones when I receive them. So we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do here is head to the link in the description and we're going to go ahead and grab the latest version of Super SU version 2.26. It may be different for you by the time you watch this video, uh, but basically... Chainfire is currently working on perfecting Super SU for Lollipop. Once that's downloaded, you'll head into your settings. Scroll down to About Phone. Go to the Build Number. Click on that until it says you are now a developer. You go into Developer Options. Make sure the Enable OEM Unlock is checked. Also make sure that USB Debugging is checked and then go ahead and plug in your device. Now, in order for this to work, you will need the Android SDK installed on your computer, or at the very least, you'll need the ADB and Fastboot files. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of where you can grab those, and that way you'll be able to run the proper commands. Okay, when you plug in your phone, you'll see this screen, Allow USB Debugging. Select Always from this computer and hit OK. If you don't automatically see that message pop up, open up a command prompt and type ADB Devices. Your device should pop up and that message should pop up. Make sure that you go ahead and allow access to your PC. That way your computer can communicate with your phone. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is head to the link in the description. That'll bring you to the Team Win Recovery page where you can download your image for recovery. Uh, so you won't go to the Play Store link. Instead, you'll go to this download the newest image file. And then you'll choose the latest Team Win Recovery image for the Shamu. Uh, once you do that, it'll send you to this download page. Your download will appear. Uh, whenever you're finished downloading, you want to copy this and paste this into the same folder that has your ADB and Fastboot file. So if you are uh, if you have the SDK installed, it'll be in your Android folder and platform tools. If you just have the simple setup, it'll be in whatever folder you put your ADB and Fastboot files in. So we'll just kind of drag and drop this over there. And you can either copy this entire recovery name or you can change it to something simple like recovery.image. So we'll just go ahead and copy the whole thing. Okay, so you want to open up a terminal or command prompt window and type ADB reboot boot loader. That'll reboot your phone into fast boot mode. So you'll know you're in fast boot mode because you'll see this screen here. I noticed that it says that we are currently unlocked. You'll need your bootloader unlocked. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of how to unlock the bootloader. Okay, so the next thing you want to do here is make sure that you CD into that directory that contains the recovery file. So we'll go to CD for me, it's users, Shane Starnes, desktop, Android, platform, tools. So now that I'm in the correct directory, I'm just going to simply type fast boot flash recovery and I'll go ahead and paste the name of that recovery. So make sure that the .img is at the end there. If it's not, go ahead and add it and select enter. Then you'll see it's going to go ahead and flash the recovery. Okay, so once the recovery has been flashed, uh, we're just going to volume up until we get to uh, where it says recovery mode and we'll go ahead and hit power to enter into our recovery mode. As soon as recovery boots, we'll go ahead and click install. We'll go to our download folder and we'll go ahead and choose that beta super SU version 2.26 zip. We'll go ahead and flash to confirm. Excuse me, we'll swipe to confirm the flash. Then we'll go ahead and reboot the system and see if we have that super SU application and if we're rooted. Okay guys, so once this boots up, you'll notice super SU is here now. Apparently it's not working on the Nexus 6 yet. If you open up Super SU, it tells you that it cannot update the binaries because uh, we have just upgraded. So basically, uh, the version that I installed booted up or whatever. It didn't go in the boot loop, uh, but it is not working fully on Android 5.0. Now, Chainfire is steadily updating this, so he'll have a working version of Super SU. Uh, in the meantime, you'll probably want to do the CF auto root. I'll be sure to include a link in the description on how to do that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. 
Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.